Hi guys, this is Vidas and welcome to my training online. Uh, today I'm going to share with you this harmonic analysis of Adeste Fidelis a Christmas uh, Carol. Uh, o come all ye faithful. Let me first uh, play the hymn tune uh, for you once and then I'll come back and talk about each chord, um, cadences, modulations, keys, things like that. I'm using Velasova sample set right here and the registration is um, principal chorus 842 with mixture reinforced with flutes 8 and 4 and Gemshorn in the in the manual and also violon, subas, octave bass, octave 4 and the mixture as well as posaune in the pedals would work well. All right, so I'll mute my microphone and you'll hear the hymn setting now. Yes, this was lovely harmony and uh, very joyful registration. Now I will reduce my registration somewhat so that you could hear my voice over those chords. Okay, so instead of mixtures, I will use principles eight and four and flutes eight and four uh, without mixture in the bass and posan in the bass. That would be quite sufficient. All right. So the key is G major with one sharp. And it starts with G major chord, which is the tonic chord. Tonic. Then this is sort of incomplete. In the bass and tenor there is just a B and in the alto and the tenor it's D. B and D, right? two notes, uh, which can be incomplete tonic six chord or first inversion tonic chord without the six, without the G, right? Okay, tonic, dominant six chord, another dominant six chord, tonic, dominant six chord, tonic, subdominant, cadential six four chord, dominant, six scale degree chord, which is a common chord with the second scale degree in D major modulation. Now, uh, seventh scale degree, six chord of D major, tonic, dominant, tonic, subdominant six chord, tonic six chord, now 2nd uh, scale degree 6-5 chord, cadential 6-5 chord, or 6-4, right? Tonic 6-4 basically, dominant 7th and tonic. Com coming back to the D, uh, G major, so this is tonic 6, 2nd scale degree chord, tonic, Second scale degree seventh chord, seventh scale degree first inversion chord, tonic, dominant sixth chord, tonic, sixth scale degree chord, subdominant with the sixth instead of the fifth, 
or uh, second scale degree first inversion chord dominant and dominant incomplete tonic six chord dominant six four tonic six dominant four two chord tonic six chord tonic six tonic tonic dominant six chord tonic uh, this is probably dominant for three chord incomplete tonic dominant six chord tonic the dominant for three chord tonic dominant six now this is um, Dominant for three of the dominant, double dominant. Dominant for two, tonic six chord, subdominant, cadential six four chord, dominant, and tonic. Good. So, this is, was the harmony. You, you could see that we only modulated to the dominant in the second line and then came back to the tonic. And um, there was one tonicization of the secondary dominant in the end of the uh, last line, in the, in, the begin, in the middle of the last line uh, with the C sharp present. This was dominant for three chord of the dominant briefly. Otherwise, it's just. Um, tonic subdominant and dominant second scale degree sixth scale degree and that's it no no third scale degree chords but there, there was several instances of the first inversion chord of the seventh scale degree as you saw it all right beautiful hymn you can practice it on your own and now that you could uh, understand the harmony think about each chord while you play it really it helps to appreciate each chord and harmonies. Cadences, we could talk about each cadence, right? Cadence, um, each, each line, at the end of each line there is a cadence. So let me play it again and talk about each cadence. Now, this is Three chords, subdominant, cadential 6-4 chord, and dominant. This is uh, compound, oath, compound half cadence, because uh, it ends on the dominant, but it has all three functions, dominant, tonic, and subdominant. Next. So, at the end of this line, which is the uh, modulation to the D major, subdominant function, tonic function, and dominant, and ending on the dominant, on the tonic actually, of the new key, of the dominant key. So this is a compound, a compound uh, full cadence, not the half cadence, because it ends on the tonic, and if it's a, a full cadence, we can actually uh, decide if it's a perfect or imperfect cadence. It ends on the tonic, uh, on the tonic first scale degree in the soprano, count one. Um, the last two chords are not inversions, count two, and then and then uh, tonic is uh, obviously the strong beat, so. So yes, it is a perfect cadence, perfect compound cadence. So next cadence is... Here. Subdominant function, which is second scale degree, six chord, and dominant which is a half cadence. Um, 
Yes, so authentic half cadence. No tonic key, no tonic chord here, therefore it's not a compound. That's just the authentic half cadence. Next. And the last cadence. Three functions are, are present subdominant, tonic 6 4 chord, and dominant and tonic. So it's a, a compound perfect cadence. Compound uh, perfect cadence because it ends on the tonic, uh, first scale degree in the soprano, two last chords are um, not inversions, and the tonic is is in the strong beat all right that's uh, basically we had four cadences here um, so very very good uh, strong cadences in this beautiful Christmas carol let me play joyfully with mixtures again and we'll be ready to practice further on your own right Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. If, if you did, please subscribe to my channel, click uh, thumbs up for this video, maybe leave a comment, what would you like me to play next, and share with your friends, and thank you so much for your support. You can buy me some coffee. I have the link available in the description of this video. Bye for now.